3.4, I'm going to talk about population growth and resources. A lot of this, honestly, is just a repeat, but it um, will just voice out a little more obviously. Okay, hey, population growth is lim limited by environmental factors, especially by the available resources in space. That could be a literal amount of space or maybe suitable places for nesting, um, the amount of food, amount of water, the amount of oxygen available, um, the amount of or the available mates, den sites, anything like that. Because they are limited and finite over all time, that produces competition. With competition, you have that pressure to survive, and that, of course, is what drives um, natural selection and adaptation. Um, but if it wasn't, you know, if we had just unlimited resources, then population growth would just go on forever. But there, there is a limit, and that is what produces competition. Um, when we have all of the possible resources, population grows really quickly. Um, for instance, this is our population through the centuries. Uh, it's fascinating because for a long time, our population stayed relatively stable. But then we see this huge spike after the Industrial Revolution. With the Industrial Revolution, modern medicine, uh, it allowed our population to just explode. Because it allowed people to live longer. And there are a lot of inventions um, that occurred during the Industrial Revolution that we'll discuss more in class that you know, improved sanitation, improved food, improved water. Uh, just tons of things that gave us this you know, relatively easy life, um, it's, you know, compared to historically. And that allowed us to live longer and produce more children. Those children are more likely to um, live and also have children. So we've seen this tremendous increase of population in such a short amount of time. But of course, that has negative impacts because because there's more people. We use more people. <laughs> we use more things. We use more resources. We use more fossil fuels. Um, so this huge population growth in such a short amount of time is something we're going to come back to a lot this year. When you, um, you start to run out of resources, we see that population begin to shrink. Um, because, you know, the, there's obviously going to be some sort of unequal distribution of resources, whether um, it's because of natural competition or where those resources are just naturally located. And so we're going to see more mortality, which means those organisms die, or decreased fecundity, which means the amount of babies born per organism will die, um, or they're a combination of both, and those things together result in a population decline to out or below carrying capacity. Now, you explain how resource availability affects population growth. 